Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be teaching you two quick methods to calculate a percentage with a calculator. This will be very useful for your level 2 functional skills exam. So by the end of the session you're going to be able to answer this particular exam question that we do have on the screen. Now this has been taken from a sitting Gills level 2 maths functional skills exam paper. So we'll come back to that in a bit. We're going to dive in and have a look at the two quick easy methods for percentages. Okay, so the first method I always like to uh, teach everybody really is to find 1% of our value. So we're going to find 1% of our value and we're going to divide it by 100. Um, and then we're going to multiply by the required percentages that we need. So for example, if we need to find 44% of 50 pounds, we're going to divide 50 by 100 so we divide our total amount by 100 that will give us the value of 1% once you've got 1% you can just times it by whatever percentage you need and you'll always have the right answer so divided by 100 times it by 44 in this example and you can see on the screen there 50 divided by 100 is 0 0.5 0 0.5 times 44 is 22 so 44 percent of 50 pounds is 22 pounds method two is essentially multiplying our total by the decimal equivalent of the percentage. So if you're happy with fractions, decimals, percentages, how they all relate to each other, the equivalences of them, you'll know that 0.44 is uh, the decimal equivalent of 44%. So you can either just add a zero point onto the front of your percentage and you've got your value. So for example, here we could do 50 times 0 0.44 and that gives us 22 pounds straight away. Uh, alternatively what you want to do is to turn your percentage into a decimal so again if you're happy with the method uh, for that um, essentially if you've got a percentage you want to turn it into a decimal you're dividing it by 100 so here we would do 44 divided by 100 is 0 0.44 and then we just times our total amount so the 50 pounds by the 0 0.44 so those are the two methods. So hopefully you've got one of those two methods that you've decided you want to choose. We've got some practice questions that we're going to go through now. I do have the calculator on screen, so we'll be able to show you how these work. So if we look at uh, question A here, we need to calculate 19% of 300 pounds. So if we've got 300, we'll times that by 0 0.19, and that gives us 57 pounds as our answer and that's it so we've just times that by 0 0.19 to get our answer with this next one if we if i use the uh decimal uh, option again so 523 times 0 0.49 we'll pop that in the calculator at the top here so 523 times 0 0.49 gives us 256.27, so 256.27. Uh, if we look at C, we've got 26% of six kilometers. So if we've got six times 0 0.26 equals 1.56. So six times 0 0.26 equals 1.56 if we look at D we've got 33% of 2789 so 2789 pounds so 2789 times 0 0.33 gives us 920 pounds and uh, 37p Question E, we've got 98% uh, of 1,008. So we'll take our total, times it by the decimal equivalent of 0 0.98. Gives us 987 pounds and 84p. Question F, 67 times, now this one's a little bit different because we've obviously got a decimal place within our percentage. We can get rid of that decimal point there or we'll just to have it at the front. Um, so for this one, it, we would be using 0.125. So it's 67 times 0.125 gives us 8.375 as our answer. 
Now we've got the final one at the bottom. Flight from London to Madrid has 560 passengers. 37 and a half of those are vegetarian. How many passengers are vegetarian? You don't get many vegetarians nowadays. It's all uh, it's all vegan uh, veganism, uh, which is absolutely fine. But uh, yeah, we'll times that by 0 0.375. So again, we're going to get rid of that decimal place that's within our percentage, and we'll we'll move it to the front. So 0 0.375. And that gives us an answer of 210, which is A. So that's it. That's as easy as um, as it is really to do a percentage of something with a calculator. So uh, have a go at this question. Pause the video, have a go at this question, and I'll go through the working out afterwards. So for this one, a secretary needs to order eight boxes of paper clips. Each box costs six pound, uh, seven pounds sixty-seven. The table below shows the discount offered on large orders. What will uh, amount will the secretary have to pay? Okay, so basically with this question, we need to obviously find out how much we're going to be spending in total uh, to start off with. So we've got eight boxes. Each box is seven pounds and sixty-seven p. So that's going to give us a total of sixty-one pounds and thirty-six pence. Okay, so 61.36. So we can look at the table. This is where our information regarding the percentage discount is going to be. So it's what we're going to be uh, taking off. And we can actually see we're within this middle uh, bracket here. So £55 to 79.99. So we're going to have a 6.5% discount. So we need to take off 6.5% of that. So if we times that by uh, 0.65 sorry 0.065 that will give us our answer so 0.065 gives us the amount we need to take off so um, obviously we're gonna have to round that up to three 399 so obviously we can't have point you know, eight four of a penny. So we'll have to round that up to a 99p. So £3.99 is what we're going to take off. So 61 and 36 minus 3.99 equals 57 pounds and 37p. And that is it. That's your answer to that question. So well done if you got that one right. So that's it for this lesson. Do consider subscribing to the channel. We are going to be having lots more uh, maths videos ready for teaching you everything you need to know for your functional skills level two. And I'll see you on the next one.